Yes, welcome to Christchurch Otatahi. It is a balmy late spring evening here in Canterbury. And welcome to the second test between the New Zealand Kiwis and the Great Britain Rugby League Lions. This is the first test between these two teams at this venue since 1988. This ground's also been a happy hunting ground for the Kiwis. They've won their last four straight here. Let's see if they can make it five. It's a very good evening. We've got a few British supporters in. Lots of Kiwi supporters too. And the Kiwis, of course, and the Brits in particular, have something to prove after the first test loss last week. 12 points to 8. That was won by the Kiwis. Let's check out their team. Johnny Lomax at fullback. Blake Austin comes in on the wing with Jermaine McGilbray. The centres, uh, Jake Connor and Jack Hughes gets his first start of this tour. The halves unchanged from last week. Gareth Widdop and Jackson Hastings. Into the forwards we go. Same lineup as last week. Chris Hill, Josh Hodson and Tom Burgess. And the same back row as last week to John Bateman, James Graham, the captain, and Elliot Whitehead. A couple of changes on the bench, but these two players were there last week. Josh Jones and Daryl Clark. Alex Wormley is there again this week in a return for Luke Thompson, who played against Tonga but was injured and missed last week. Let's check out the Kiwis team for you. Roger Tuivasa checks at fullback again. Jermaine Asako and Kim Malmalo on the wings. No change to the centres. Nicol Klockstad and Joseph Manu. Sean Johnson's back in the halves with Kieran Foran out and Benji Marshall captains once again from halfback. We have Zane Tetabano and Jared Wairia Hargreaves at the props and Brandon Smith returns at hooker. Britton Nakora, Joseph Tapene and Corey Harawera Naira starts in the second row with Kenny Bromwich out this week. A couple of changes on the bench too. Nikarima drops back to the bench. Kevin Proctor, first time we've seen him this series. Lissam Almao and Adam Blair complete the Kiwis lineup. Sarko centre and at the forefront of that haka. Yes, sir. Thoughts are with his family and in particular his father, Ta'ai. Spent a lot of time, Jermaine, at home this week and every off moment he had. His father faces a battle of cancer. <whistles> Referee for the match is Jared Sutton, assisted by Chris McMillan, Dave Munro, Henry Peronata, the video referee. Final preps for both teams. Big performances in this Kiwi lineup last week. Roger to Ivasa Shek, nine tackle busts. Adam Blair, 31 tackles off the bench, didn't miss one. His efficiency was 100%. Jared Wairia Hargreaves has been overlooked a little bit how big he was last week, Daryl. 68 minutes play, 20 carries, 141 metres, 48 tackles. That's an immense game from Jared. Certainly. And then Cody Nikarima came in the night before. Played 76 minutes, made 55 tackles in a position he doesn't play. That one being hooker. Tell you what, Jared Wairia Hargreaves is the reigning New Zealand Rugby League Player of the Year. He's making a very, he's had a very good year again, and he might be making a case to be Rugby League Player of the Year again for New Zealand. So all the experience. And there's now 221 games in the NRL, Jared. This is Charles Nicole Blockstead. Test match three for him. Time you run here, boys. Keep behind it, Blake. So here we go, second test between the Great Britain Lions and the New Zealand Kiwis here in Christchurch. Gareth Wood kicks off. 
going to be New Zealand with the first possession. Ash Johnson feeding Jared Wairia Hargreaves and some James intense Hull, defence Josh already. I'd expect nothing less from James Hull. Graham right the way through Stand the game. Up. Elliot Whitehead as well. Now Nakora. Hodgson and Burgess drive him back alongside Chris Hill. John James, Good to see the adrenaline flowing two. nice and early as Smith gallops away from dummy half. There, so important in these early battles for the defensive team to hold the player in the air, and you see the push there from Great Britain, and of course the ball pushing Hargraves up and back. If the ruck's slow and you hold it and you send it backwards, it's even slower. Proctor back in the Kiwis, played in all three tests against England last year on the Northern Tour. It didn't feature in the mid-year test against Tonga, nor the first two tests of this campaign, so he'll be relishing getting an opportunity as Johnson Boy sits down and Johnny Lomax comes in to take it at fullback. And there's some pretty decent defence on him already there by New Zealand. First set, metres hard to come by. Johnson the kick, lands on the 20. They send Lomax back a couple. This is McGill right. Away comes McGill. got Richie Barnett, sideline. Glorious night for rugby league, Richie. Perfect conditions down here. And of course the wind is with Great Britain at the moment. Spare a thought really for Blake Austin who's playing wing for the very first time. And DJ, as you know, and anyone, being on the wing is completely different uh, trying to take those high balls when it's the first time you played on the wing in a test football match. He actually just come and got himself a hit up there. Blake Austin, just back to his left wing position. Yes, Austin, of course, the Warrington Wolves player, former Canberra player. A couple of other clubs in his Australian career as well. Slow play the ball as Bateman. On the last, there goes Hastings' kick. That's nicely weighted. Tuivasa Shek under it, though. And away comes Roger Tuivasa Shek, who, of course, made the ultimately one of the match-winning plays last week. That magnificent offload. We saw this last week. It was a real arm wrestle to start the match. Now a little bit of a shift here to bring Asako off his wing. The last couple of matches. The Great Britain side, as we know, haven't been too far away, but their last play options haven't really generated the pressure or the repeat sets of six. In fact, last week, Josh Hodgson didn't even kick the football. Manu. A game from him last week, 15 carries. There's some solid connection, and that's Kim Malmalo at his best. Yeah. The nickname in Boom, Boom. <laughs> For obvious reasons, now Wairia Hargreaves nicely on the front foot. See, he surges. 15 metres downfield. It's a good set for the Kiwis. Good front foot ball here for Johnson. Austin under this one. Oh, dear. Oh, my word. That's a shocker from Blake. You're good, Richie Barnett, sideline. He called it. Spare a thought, Blake Austin. More at home in the halves. 5-8 in particular. Got in and got a nice touch early and a good run through the middle of the field, and then he drifted back to the wing. Sean Johnson, second kick of the match, knows exactly where it's going. Good height on it. A little bit of a breeze favouring the Kiwis in this first half. First attacking opportunity now. A big error there from Great Britain. Can the Kiwis make them pay? They cost in 122 games in the NRL. Very disappointed with what happened on that play as Johnson. Two of us are they're running it on the first, and out comes to Joseph Manu. In fact, it's Nickel Klopstad who gets very close. Fast play the ball. Malmalo, good pass in the end. It looked a little dicey. Titavano with his eyes on the try line and a penalty. They were stretched here, Great Britain. Good play the ball speed. Nickel Klopstad on the far left. Goes oh so close. Especially they scored from that play against Australia a couple of weeks ago, didn't they? On debut, he oh, certainly Jack. did. Jack. Looks like Jermaine Asako will get his first opportunity of two points for the evening. A nice easy kick at goal. There's always going to be opportunities on the left here, because the right edge in particular with Joseph Manu on that side is a real threat for the Kiwis. So nicely placed on the outside. Got good footwork, hasn't he? Jumps in the air and skips gets to the outside of his opponent. Yep. He's been very good in these two games yep. at centre. Richie, Nickel Klockstad, hardly put a foot wrong, hasn't he? He seems to revel in any situation, but I think he's well accompanied on the left edge. But I like his running style. 
I like yeah, the ability. Nice. Is he changes angles nicely in and away. He sums up situations so well. 33 games in the NRL, Charles and Cole Clock said. He scored 18 tries. So I think seven of those are for the Warriors, and he scored seven tries as well. Johnny on the spot. So Sako with the goal kicking up duties in this game. Here to Sean Johnson. And he makes no mistake from close range. Drive the scoring after two minutes. The Kiwi's up two, does it? Year for the Broncos, Jermaine Asaka, but he's been very good for the Kiwis in these three games and in the nines as well, Daryl. I really believe he'll play fullback for the Broncos next season. It'll be interesting as Kiwis come back through Wairi Hargreaves. Elliot, keep room! Chris, hold! 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 Go the ball down nicely there. Jake Connor was last man up as Nakora comes forward. Little mistake from Nakora, according to Jared Sutton, the referee. He must have X-ray vision. Great Britain clap and applaud here. Seemed to have got to his feet or okay to Britain Nakora. Maybe just a little bit sloppy as he gets his hands to the ground. Let's have a look. The run from Hargrave to start with. He steps off the right, straight into Elliot. Chris Hill puts the weight back on top. Where's the ball lost here? So still got a hold of it here. Right on his shoulder. Right, Did I say Josh, the tackle ball was slow? And he's three. got it there. It's Help. been lost. Oh, interesting call that one. Like I mentioned, X ray vision. That's Lomax playing the ball. Here's Graham. Britain in excellent field position here. Just like the Kiwis were a moment ago. Britain's play last week. In the zone it wasn't great, they really couldn't create anything, on, but now at a chance to lock the scores up here for Great Britain. Two. If they choose, yes, they're going to try and level it up. So we pretty much had a flip around That's from five minutes ago. This will be a square up as well, obviously. Yeah, yeah, no sorry. problems at all for Gareth Widder. Oh, sorry, yeah. Gareth pointed and said two. Great Britain. Hello. Hello. Uh, it's uh, Josh, sorry. Well, that's interesting. There, yeah, Graham not agreeing with the decision, it seems. Does he ever? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of fighting to play the ball. All good, mate. Yep. Great Britain actually ran the ball on last tackle on four occasions last week. So they obviously thought that New Zealand were vulnerable late in the game. Yep. A set of six on both edges. Here's the goal from Gareth Widdop. We now know both teams can goal kick. Let's get on and play some footy, Glenn. 100%. Two wall is a score. Eight minutes play. Stay behind it, Ken. Sucker just waiting for a tee until you restart play. into the Kiwi jersey for Kevin Proctor. And these veteran players like Benji Marshall, Kevin Proctor, been relishing the chance to represent their country. Let's be honest, Darrell, they might not get the opportunity going forward. They want to make the most of it. Sarko restarts play. Good length on that kick. And it's Jermaine McGilvray. Got a big kick on Surrender. Jermaine Osako. He put a couple out of the ground here yesterday. That's the nervous part about him kicking off. <laughs> yeah, he can easily. Well, he's, uh, of course, in Wollongong. He didn't kick it too far, didn't he? This is Burgess. Hold him now. Go to. He gets some tremendous links on those line dropouts, too, as Bateman comes up towards the 20. Kevin Good goal kick. Well, good uh, restart, rather, from Jermaine Osako. Great Britain team still pinned well and truly inside their own half. It's a good run from Chris Hill. Warrington Wolves player. Hodgson to Graham. It's great post contact meters for him. Good run by Graham. Last play now and it's back to Witter. 
just steps outside the 40. Oh, sort of gathered there by a suckle. Yeah, nice skip in the air, wasn't it? Could have well to get back. Graham came to the middle of the field, which kept the Sako up. He saw would it go to the other side. Tui Vasa, Shaq! Does he lock this right edge or what? Well, he got a fast play to ball too. And that's really opened the opportunity for him. Chris, make it a hold. Hold, go three. Johnson at dummy half, Wairia Hargreaves. Just let go! Make it, Chris. Go Smith at dummy half. To play the ball and Johnson shaped a kick. Good hands from Marshall now. Proctor. That's good play from the Kiwis. Showing a little more adventure. And perhaps did in the opening 10 to 15 last week. Johnson on the last year. That's giving a sucker one to chase. Austin. He's got this one. Is he going to stay in the field of play? No. Well, the rookie winger. One error and now tackled into touch. That is a great kick from Sean Johnson. Five metres out and five metres in. This is where it all started. Tui Vasashek jumps out to the right and away he goes. And then he fights for post-contact metres. Gets up, a couple of plays to the right, one from Hargraves, and look where that is. Two metres out, five from the side. The Sarko just lets Austin catch a football, drags him to touch. Good work. It's fairly obvious, Richie Barnett, they're going to target Blake Austin. Absolutely. And when you got Joseph Manu on that right edge too, that three-quarter kick becomes a very deadly potent combination with Osako as well. I like that slide of hand too from BG Marshall on that left edge too with that little pop ball. So I dare say those two will combine nicely to deliver some balls out, out the edge. To a nice shot. The clock's down at dummy half. It's a funnel. That extra pace he generates, but that's good defence that time by Hill and by Tom Burgess. And he's still plenty of tackles up their sleeve as Wairia Hargreaves in the shadow of the posts. Tarpany used as a decoy. Marshall, this is looking good. Johnson to Manu. Joseph Manu scores. Got the long arm out, Joseph Manu. Okay, that will be tackle four, H. Have a try. Yep. Just confirming that uh, Joseph Manu keeps possession, grounds it correctly. It's amazing. Video there you go. to director. It's the grounding of the football Hello, seems to I'm be the only for problem. Grounding from Joey Manu. Have a look at the line speed, speed here of the Great Britain defensive there, line. As you'll show us these replays. Just how far do they get off their line? This is Austin coming in. Low, Elliot over yeah. the top. Jackson Hastings Gets couldn't get anything on it. And how does he do it? Yep, that's fine, mate. I'm happy with that. Of course, Joe Henry Perinara. Giving it a green light. It to the screen, mate. Thanks, Age. Oh, it's all right. They'll come back, mate, in their own time. Good pressure, Glenn. Putting the ball in the corner. Yeah, Manu's eight. Repeat set of six. Manu's eight. So, Chris. Chest is third try. Those blokes on the left. The closer is the goal yeah, line, the less I'm able to communicate in this with the Kiwis right team now, Joseph Manu, the growth in his game over the last two years. Richie has been extraordinary. It certainly has. I mean, he's a monster of a centre. I mean, he's got great footwork, but his right hand bent and left hand bent to just create is mesmerising. Just get him man on man, it's unbelievable. Look at this nice little short ball there from Sean Johnson. Enormous amount of work to get through. When he had Whitehead coming across, he made massive impact on Joseph Manu, but look at this ball here, both combining well, the six and seven. Massive effort from Whitehead, amazing how he can get that ball down, but he's been a sensation for the Roosters. Fantastic work, he's gonna be a great Kiwi on that right edge. Jake Connor really did just bite, didn't he? As soon as he had a bite to get in on Sean Johnson, just opened up the ball for Joey Manu. Well, Manu's, a, Manu's a big guy, but that was a big solid shot from Whitehead on him, but he oh, still boys. managed to hold the ball now. The sucker with a tough conversion attempt. Yeah, the breeze has blown, blown over his right shoulder, and he has sent that across the face of Bolt, which is not the place to be. Maybe that breeze has actually died a little bit as the evening comes on. Well, an early try to the Kiwis in this game. Wait till the second half last week. Six points to two. One more look at the try here, Daryl. Good shape. Marshall to Johnson, a combination back in, and then the speed from 
Sean Johnson realising that there's a disjointed line. That was a nice little hole. Well, that all came from Austin, remember, being thrown into touch. Opportunities for the Kiwis. Score points from both of those mistakes from Austin. As Nakora comes forward. There's Roger. Up point to Kim Mamalo with carries last week. Roger, 22. Mamalo, 21. Two of us are running for over 200 metres last week. Mind you, he basically runs that every game now. Marshall. This is Tuffany. Marshall collects the offload. Brandon Smith. Last tackle. Lucky square. Hold Chris. Good to see Smith back in the team this week. Oh, middle. Johnson with a spiral kick down in the middle of the field. And that will bounce kindly for McGilbray. Different end to a set of six for the Kiwis here. Benjamin Marshall at the dummy half position. And Johnson the only option. This is Austin. Good run. We key to make up for those couple of errors. Now running forward is Connor. The Hull FC player. Hodgson could play the ball. Graham rolling forward. Now this is looking better for Great Britain as Lomax comes in. Great tackle though. That was a beauty. Nicole clocks that. It was a can. It was can in fact. Good read from Kim Malmalo Hill. This is good play though as Burgess comes forward. Better from Great Britain. Shifting the ball and they're getting some ruck speed as well. Hastings cut out pass. Out it goes to Austin, but it's been ruled forward. One of those passes look flat, the other one look forward. You can take your pick. That's really good work, wasn't it? Through the middle of the ruck there. The Great Britain forwards playing tip ons. It wasn't just two, there was three. Played Roger. And then go zero. Ruled forward. Now completions will be a little bit of a problem. Marcus, Great Britain side completed the three so far. At 50%, here comes Ken. Yeah, that's not a good stat for Great Britain early. Oh, they've got a good roll on there. Marshall runs from dummy half. Good to see the captain running. Wairia Hargreaves. Beautiful back off low right there. That's Nakora with an opportunity. Bit of showtime from Jarrett. Away goes Brandon Smith. Tarpany and Smith chasing this one through. Yeah, not being a good kick that one, didn't it? Turning the good way around. Looked a little ungainly, terrible, but it ended up being very effective. Can't see how, say I've seen him do that this week, Brandon Smith, but he found some space and then he chased as well, and others got to him. You now they camp down this end of the football field where they want to be the Kiwis. One, two, three in the tackle. That's Jack Hughes hitting it up there for Great Britain. He's on debut. His first ever game in International Rugby League. Congratulations to him. That's Lomax. I've been impressed with Lomax. All three games so far in the fullback position. This is Austin. Oh! oh. Nearly a big shot from Joseph Tarpanet. But he bounced out of it beautifully. Credit to him. And now they're up on the halfway again. This ruck speed is very good at the moment. And there goes the kick from Hastings. Great Britain, much better set from them on that occasion. To Ivasa Shek. <laughs> Who's he looking to? to be there? <laughs> Caught the ball, let a little look behind him. Yeah, the pace of the game just picked up for those two sets of six, didn't it? Marlo. Standing season. Those tries for the Warriors, 17, remember, as Nickel Klockstad. The pace of the game is going to see some lungs bursting near the end of this one. Johnson, Nakora. That's the pace of the ball near the field. Pass from dummy half. Here's Jared Waria Hargreaves. Test number 32 for him, for the Kiwis in this game. There goes Marshall's kick. This time is McGilvray. He's had a good tour, this guy. Could have won them the game with a try in the corner last week. It leads the carries along with Johnny Lomax. There's a lot of the work for this Great Britain side. 
Great season two for Huddersfield again. Ball back. Tartini giving away the penalty, or is it Tedevano? Tedevano. Can't get his mitts off the football. Just joined us, it was Joseph Manu scoring the try in the 13th minute. Wait for the foot. Oh, to either the team as well. Bateman. It's been quiet, hasn't it? Two two games we've seen play here in New Zealand. Hodgson. Hill. No changes made in the interchange oh, just yet. Hastings. Ball out in front of him. Whitehead cuts back, but Nakura's spotted him nicely. Smith risking the penalty there, but getting away with it as Graham gives it out to Whittip. Hastings has it again. Cora. Smith has it. It's a nice adjustment. But they initially looked to spread out the right and up the penalty, and uh, Jared Sutton, the referee here, is sending a clear message to both teams, I think, Daryl. He called it. Brandon Smith two tackles ago for holding down. Pinged him on the second one. Oh, now one speed foot. significantly oh. quicker this week than oh. last week. Go there's Burgess trying to barge his way over. Smith in there, half the size, doesn't care. And another messy play the ball. And that time Smith is a touch unlucky. The team. You see Tom Burgess there going at Roger Tuivasa Shek. He's got himself at A defender on the left, which was a good play. So the Kiwis have conceded three penalties in the last two minutes, and now that's a clean drop. And look out, here comes to Ibasashek. Brendan Smith at it again. His shoulder on the ball of Burgess dislodges it. Now Malo. Always exciting when Roger to Ibasashek gets the opportunity. Off an error. He could be most dangerous, but Burgess just dropping it stone cold. Two, Jake, come on. He was a back on the halfway line on the third tackle. It's a great return of the football coming in this set. The Smith. Marshall, what's he going to cook up? Here comes Proctor off the Marshall pass. To see he and Johnson over the left hand side of the field on that occasion. Now Johnson handles again and tap in there. We're at last now. Inside the 20. Blake who? <laughs> yeah, he could be. Ready to receive another one. Yeah, they're running at this time. Manu. Manu getting close. And that's good defence in the end from Britain. What it was there was Jake Connor had put himself on the wing and shifted Blake Austin into the centre position. Did a good job on Joey Manu as well, Blake Austin. Give him credit there. The tough man one on one. It's going to be interesting to see. We just see if that position will switch, will stay during the next few minutes or so. As Wormsley has got his boarding pass into the game. The discipline now, the key for New Zealand. Four penalties I've given away. Great Britain just for one. This is Thompson who's out there now. Missed last week's test due to injury. It's a wonderful season for St Helens. Hodgson kicks early on the tackle count and two bars a check. But way out of position, a sucko as well. Still going to get plenty of time to return the football here to Ivasa Shek. A really hard surface here at Orange there up in the stadium. See the bounce of the ball, we'll see that one from Hodgson skirting straight up into the air. But I mentioned discipline, now Great Britain just a little bit too early. Off their D-line, Wormsley perhaps. He's a huge human, isn't he? <laughs> 15 kilos to St. Helens player. 27 games this season for St. Helens actually. Darrell started all of them. Tom gets a breather. So that penalty count. 4 to 2 in Great Britain's favour. Kiwi spread it nice and early here. In comes to Vasa Shekin from fullback again. Moving in, in attack this week from the Kiwis, which is good to see. Quite conservative the last couple of weeks is Tarpani. 
Good fend. Big unit now, Joseph Tarpany. This good pass into Johnson's hands and Wairia Hargreaves. Brandon Smith's passing in this game so far has been spot on. And that is a penalty. Again, for a similar offence in a similar position earlier on in this game. Yeah, interesting Good. here. Take the two, get up to the six point lead. A little bit disjointed, hasn't it? The Kiwi attack in terms of putting set after set going in the Great Britain 50. First points off a penalty. Second points courtesy of the try off a penalty. We come back down here now, and again, Great Britain happy to give a penalty away their defensive line. I agree, Brandon Smith has added a nice little dimension to this side. This passing from dummy half has been crisp. Found himself a kicking game as well. And there. Again, that feels like a square up type of a penalty, doesn't it? it really does. In fact, seven penalties Richie have been given away in this game so far. Maybe all of them, I think, just about have been at the ruck. Only one offside, actually, penalty, right? Yeah, there's been, well, through this tournament, they've been reluctant to give penalties. They've been slowing to play the ball down. So I think that's a, a definite focus point for the refereeing in this test match. It certainly deserves a quick, quicker game. But don't be surprised, I think, if Sean Johnson comes to the right hand edge again. And uh, it isolates probably Jack Connor and Blake Austin. You know, it's a very inexperienced combination there, and decision making is all important on the edge. Just one error in 25 minutes of football for the Kiwis. They're completing at 92%. That's a pretty good outstanding. Only missed two tackles, two in the game so far. As Johnson gathers the kick off, and that's Lee Song arm out. He's out there now. Another test appearance for him. Cora. Again, he's been very good since coming into the Kiwis against Tonga in the mid-year test Harpinet. Here's the width of that pass straight across the face of Hargraves to Tarpanet. It's right, it's hitting the players right in the chest, isn't it? Perfect from Smith. Alex, get up! Smith again, here's Armel handling, handling for the second time in the set. Test number nine for him in his career. Marshall on the last. Then you hide on that one, but Jermaine McGoo Ray. <laughs> he looks like he loses it in the lights every time, doesn't he? But he gathers it. Gets his hands up nice and early. Gets a sighter on it. Going through a telescope. This is Hughes. He's driven backwards. Very experienced in the second row, too. Warrington Williams player is Austin. Comes in for a hit up. Hits the line nice and hard there, does Blake Austin. It's a good run. Here comes Thompson from a mile back. Good tackle on him. That was good pace from Luke Thompson. And a fast play, the ball as well. Hastings. This is better from the League Lions team. And Connor makes good post contact meters there. Can he stay in the field of play, though? It's been pinched by Johnson. Great work from Joseph Manu. He was just trying to hold him, suspend him in the air to drive him to touch. Just got there. Roger. Centres play. Just as Great Britain start to make big metres, the Kiwis come up with a big play. Back in possession. Oh, he wanted that. He saw the <laughs> ribs of Hargraves, James Graham. He said, oh, I won't let that go. I'll have a piece of you. <laughs> Jared gives him a little bit of a, a smile to Rand Ford. That was nice one-on-one -on -one play between Graham and Jared Wairia Hargreaves. Arm out. Steal in on it will be a penalty. If there's two in there at any stage, you can't strip it. That's the, that's the rule difference between the NRL and internationals, right? It certainly is. We explained that last week and the week before, but someone forgot to explain it again before the game to Josh Hodgson, who was the king of it in the NRL this year. He's only decided to take two. I want to nudge six points, eight points clear now. 
seem to be a little bit gassed bringing the ball out of their own end here, the Kiwis. This is the final act here, so Hodgson makes first contact, then Elliott. The Canberra teammates have done this so many times, they call one another off. But even in this instance, Elliott was the second person into the tackle. So the last test of the season. You're possibly not as fit as you are right in the middle of the season. So a slow tempo game sort of suits. So a suck off. Two from three in this game so far. The kick here early in the week on Wednesday from 60 metres with a massive breeze behind him and nailed it. This time he goes inside right and bends it back nicely. That's pretty much perfect for Jermaine Osaka. Osaka will be enjoying playing here. This is his hometown. And the Kiwis out to an eight-point lead with ten to play in the first half. How are your lungs down there, Richie? <laughs> Not bad, mate. Pretty impressed with Joseph Mono. He's been extraordinary at holding players up and biding time and then and then push them out. He's, he's done it on a lot of occasions tonight. He did with the Roosters right throughout the whole season. And Blake Austin, I've got to say, has had some great carries throughout this whole match. He's made up for some errors early on, but he's been fantastic. He actually leads McGilvray with metres in the backs here at the moment for Great Britain. He did right. Leading metre gainers so far for Kiwis is Wairi Hargreaves. He's got 88 metres already from 10 hit-ups. There he is, passing the ball this time. Good hands there from Marshall, and it's Proctor. Very experienced international player now is Kevin Proctor. As Tartane comes forward. Comes the kick downfield. Oh, the bounce is horrible for Austin. But I think he's got it, and there's been no knock on there. Superb work from Austin. The first bounce straight in the air, couldn't get to the second. This is Lomax. And then it ricochets off a Kiwi player and he scoops up and tidies it up nicely. Challenge from Paul Klopp instead. Got an arm problem by the look. Maybe his wrist in the way. Austin again, he's coming into the game a bit better. There goes Hodgson rolling it out to the left. Last day wasn't quite accurate there to Hastings, who had to stop and catch it, and that lost the momentum. And he was looking to gain out of that play. Here comes Josh Jones. Grower, who was uh, off the interchange for the second week in a row against the Kiwis. Last play now for Britain. And here is the kick for Widdop. It's Malmalo. Nice comfortable catch. That's good confidence, isn't it, between Tui Vasashek and communication as well with Malmalo. There would have been a time when Tuivasashek, if he was anywhere near the frame and the ball was in between the two of them, it was always his. Now Ken's equally adept at that skill. Johnson, Armau, right on the 40. Inside New Zealand territory, looks like Cody Nikarima. And Adam Blair are coming into the game. Tuivasashek. Maria Hargreaves is going to take a seat on the bench. 32 minutes into the game as well. Adam Blair back out there. That's a good kick. Johnny Lomax scooting over to the corner. Oh dear, can he get out? Oh, that's a great Kiwis chase. Line drop out. Sean Johnson's kicking game on song here this evening. They've pumped this right side. Great Britain's left. High balls to start with. As we've mentioned to Austin. And now the weight of this one. It's a difficult field to get the weight right because if you get a hard bounce, it just really rolls end on end. Got just the right bounce. Lomax, one, two, three, four Kiwis. That man, Manu, we mentioned how big a game he's having. He is the try scorer. Get your body with us. Lomax just getting a 10 to 2 there. Get behind it. Right, let's go, Gareth. No shot clock, remember, in International go. League with the line drop out. Oh, that 
could have been really nasty for the Kiwis. That bounce. They're due for a bounce of the ball. Great oh, an offload here. Oh, nice bounce. offload as well. Here's Adam Blair. Here's a fantastic offload from Kasako. Manu at dummy half. Now off the pass from Johnson. So Cody Nikarima wearing 14. All the Kiwis in this game. Test number 15 for him. Johnson. Over 50 metres from seven hit ups now in this game. Just Joseph Tarpane, Nikarima, Marshall, Johnson. Johnson runs and Johnson will score. That was a gem from Sean Johnson. Loves scoring tries at this ground. Got a couple for the Warriors last year. Looks like he's got another one here for the Kiwis. Have a try. Let's make sure we haven't got any obstruction on the inside. There's plenty of shape on the outside. I just, just want to see if there's a block from Sean Johnson or whether Sean Johnson got a block here. The way they set up this shape. Uh, it look like it. Oh, yeah. and Dot's perfect. Live, let's have a look at this here. So Marshall okay. out the back, Lisa Sean now Marl, he does so not impede or block Okay, can anyone. I just go back? That looks all fine to me, mate. Can and I just go back to the um, sideline angle, please? Set camera three, is out last week. All we talked about okay, that was kicking game. And we know but Lisa and Armel goes game. Uh, through the lines. Yeah, it excites when it's at its best. Sean Johnson Seems dummies. Smooth sailing. And there's no obstruction there. So Pete following Sean through Johnson to grounding, mate. Can I get purple. a clear vision on grounding? All good there. Sean Johnson grounds the ball in the end goal. Jerry, we've got a decision. We're sending try to the board. All right, thanks, Henry. Bye. Well, there is the nice, clear explanation from Henry Perinara. It's Johnson over for the try. It's his 14th in his New Zealand career. And a nice, really taken try from Johnson. Richie Barnett, he saw the opportunity and he nailed it. Yeah, quite nice. It's a double bond play. The lead runner coming through, you saw that. And then Whitehead just overcommitted himself. He's waiting for Sean Johnson to pass because nine times out of ten he would. Nice to see him take the line on. We should have more of this. He's dynamic, very hard to contain someone like of Sean Johnson's ability with his footwork, particularly on the edge. Got to give a tick to the character of Sean Johnson. Been around him in camp for the last two weeks. And it hasn't been easy, and it isn't easy when you're the face of the game here in this country. And you suddenly have your test jersey taken off you. His energy levels have been no different to as if he was playing. It's not often he's been dropped in his career. A circle with the conversion and the lead stretches now to 14 as the Kiwis kick clear of Great Britain. 16 points to two, five to play until halftime. This is a really big halftime speech from Wayne Bennett to his team. Like I said before, that's a real gifted run from Sean Johnson, but he's had four weeks now with his English Great Britain team in camp. And they got a week to go against Papua New Guinea as well. They can come back here. Yeah, that game in Papua New Guinea will be very interesting. Now, Tuivasa Shek. Spin it wide off. Kick regather. Run metres, 600 for the Kiwis. 370 for Great Britain. And that's a big difference there. It's only on a half, too. 230 metres difference. It's two lengths of the football field, folks. Completions, 16 completed sets for the Kiwis. Nine for that. Some glaring differences in some stats. Blair enjoys a run there of around 12 metres, 15 metres. Here goes Nikarima skipping it up from dummy half. Here comes Nakora. Good pace off the mark, Britain Nakora. Johnson. Ooh, not a great pass to Johnson. It's to uh, rather Marshall. She still gets a kick away, and what might that go into touch? Well, <laughs> that's not a bad result, really. The result's OK. It was scrappy, though. Possibly the worst last play option of the first half for the Kiwis. Let's have a look and see where the detail went wrong. Well, it was a pass, wasn't it? Johnson to Marshall. 
See Adam Blair taking over Jackson. Test 51. Jackson. That's a big milestone for him last week in Test 50. Didn't actually have his greatest game last week. Adam Blair he's looking to put on a performance here. Pete Jackson. In, out. Yep. Out. Britain. Great Britain have got to find something in these last, last two and a half minutes. Error out of the Kiwi somewhere to get back into this match. Really found try scoring difficult. No forward and the Great Britain sides had more than four carries. Jared Warrow Hargraves had ten. Makora seven. Tarpin is seven. Rolling forward like this, okay, Darrell, it's just able to really capitalise. Hastings coming forward again to Widdop. That's a nice pass to Bateman. Great Britain still 30 metres out. Infield kick this time. Tuivasa Shek comes forward. And again, he takes it comfortably. Johnny Lomax, the only one really chasing that kick. And with just one minute 30 to go, wasn't the most adventurous, was it? No, oh, Marlow. Elliot, no more. Oh, my God. Oh, Jackson. It's been a, a good block of international rugby league, no doubt about it. Plenty more coming up next year, too, with that tour to the UK of Australia. Good, good Kevin Proctor on the left edge there. Kiwi's got another opportunity here as Marshall brings Manu back. So it looks like they'll play Tonga in the mid-year test again next year. That'll be a ripper, won't it? And what Tonga was able to achieve in their two games at the end of the season here. Johnson taken late, the referee's happy. It's going to let play continue as Lomax comes back to his 30. Jackson Hastings comes off the worst for wear in that collision with Sean Johnson. Austin. Hastings looks like he might be favouring an arm or a shoulder. Maybe he's just winded. Here's the pass from Connor out to Widdop. He tackles himself. And now Hodgson. This is danger where the Kiwis need to stay high. Great option from John Bateman, but two Vasashek read it. Well, that's a steal there from Bateman. What, what a play from him. The true competitor. Last 10 seconds of this first half. Hodgson, it's kick and chase there for McGilvray, but he couldn't chase it because he was in an offside position. And that was going to roll too deep. And that will end the first half. As Malmalo takes out a security guard in the corner. <laughs> that, was, that was a comical way to finish the first half. The Kiwis lead it 16 points to two. Sean Johnson helps the Kiwis to a 14-point lead. How do you feel about the intensity of that first half? Yeah, it was, uh, you know, it was really good. Obviously, coming off a pretty solid performance last week, it was important we started well. And, yeah, up 14 at half is uh, all up to us in the second half now. Same, same, but different in the second 40? Same, same. Let's just leave it at that. Enjoy it. Well, Elliot, 16 to 2, how do the Lions find points in the second half? Yeah, look, I think we need to go in and talk about um, what went wrong. And, you know, I think it's going to start with completing the sets and stop making everything, giving stupid penalties away. How do you stop the Kiwis' momentum? Uh, look, we need to find the corner with his kicks and, you know, get some line speed and stop the momentum from the, the yardage. Good luck for the second half. Thank you. So there it is, half time here at Christchurch. It is two tries to none. It's the Kiwis leading 16 points to two. Second half not too far away here in Christchurch in the second test between the Kiwis and the League Lions. It's the Kiwis up by 14 at half time. Tries to Joseph Manu and Sean Johnson in the first half. Jermaine Asako has kicked four from five with the boot and just a solitary penalty goal kicked by Gareth Widdop. It's a lot of work to do for. Great Britain, who once again is struggling to create try-scoring opportunities. 
in this test match, just like the previous two they've played on this tour. I guess you've got to ask just how much petrol is left in the tank. Defensively, they have done all the work here, this Great Britain side. Four of their forwards have got past 20 tackles. Whitehead, Graham, Hodgson leads the way with 27. And Bateman as well. And of course, you've got to feel a little bit sorry for... Well, he was a late inclusion, wasn't he? For Blake Austin, who wear jersey 18, but playing on the wing, leads the way. Born in Parramatta. Actually made his debut for Penrith in 2011, which was the year of the earthquake here in Christchurch. The stint at the Tigers and then played most of his first grade for the Canberra Raiders. 130 games in the NRL. He actually represented Portugal, would you believe? Blake Austin. And he's recovered nicely from his two errors early. He's finished with 86 metres in the first half. Now for the Kiwis, that man just running past our screen there is a man called Britton Nakora. Debuted in round one this year for Cronulla, would you believe? Went on to play 24 games, including some finals. There's now four test matches to his belt as well. Got so close to scoring a try at Eden Park last week. Perhaps he'll get one here in the second half. Yeah, fine season. His fourth test. Seven tries through the season in the NRL this year for Nakora. And in those 24 games, played every single minute. <laughs> when he was on the field in the NRL. So 40 minutes left in the international season. Second half underway. It's going to be Great Britain with the first possession. Trailing by 16 points to two. And it's big Alex Wormsley. Get things underway. Just the one player not used by the Kiwis. In oh, the shot here. It was, wasn't it? Harawe to Naira. No, it was Tarpani, I think. Come straight out of the line of the lock. Jersey. Marshall Benji there. Marshall with a bit of shoulder as well. So the message from Michael Maguire is ruthless. Continue the deep. Wormsley with a second carry. Up towards the halfway line he goes. Gives it to Hastings. Flat pass to Whitehead. So the lead line's just up over halfway. There's Woodup's kick. Forward pass to Sheck run for 107 metres in the first half. The suckle comes back off his left shoulder. It was a really good balance last week to the running numbers of the outside backs of this Kiwi side. Joseph Manu picked up nearly 15. Of course, Tui Vasashek at 20 years does 10. And it was just a good balance to have Jermaine Asako clock up 14 or 15 as well. Nickel clocks that with a carry on that occasion. Nikarima, here's Tapane coming forward. He's developed into a fine player. Isn't he? Joseph Tarpany. He was the one who started the niggle last week with the shoulder in the back of James Graham, if you remember. I wonder if a square up's coming here in this game. <laughs> Blair on the last play for the Kiwis. There goes Johnson's kick. Oh, good take, Lomax. Really, really good take. Nakora chasing that one. Didn't give him a lot of space. Of course, the last time Great Britain played here would have been the 2017 World Cup. And Gareth Wood it played fullback. This man played all three tests last year at fullback. Johnny Lomax did a good job too. He's been one of their better performers on this tour. McGilvray, his run meters have been up there again. Hodgson at dummy half. And he comes number 14, Josh Jones. 26 year old, Salford Red Devils player. A nice white pass to Whitehead, runs straight at Nakora this time. Last play now, and Hastings again. He'll kick it high for Tuivasashek, but again he's just pushed it a touch too far, and Tuivasashek takes it. No pressure, no real chase on there either. No one willing on the left edge there for the Great Britain side to really want to contest, really chase after it. Well, there's a big clash. Wormsley and Mamalo. Wormsley wins this one, and they drive Ken back. And that was a combined weight there of 220 kilograms. 
for Kim and for Alex. I reckon Kim's bigger than 105 anyway. I don't believe that stat, so you could probably chuck a few more kilos on top of that as Armour heads up towards the 30. At least a 10 kilo dumbbell there. At least. Nikarima. Slow play the ball for the Kiwis. As Marshall's kick, it's inside the 40. And has this got some angle on it? Hasn't got the bounce, but it's a good kick anyway from Marshall. That's carved off 65 metres. That's a great kick. And a good chase from Sean Johnson, who would have been the option on the right side. Line up on the left post to trap them down there for tap and two. Now the shift. Here comes Mrs. Hughes. They really want to play, don't they? Yeah, it's Connor now Austin. He's getting stuck in. He's Blake Austin as he leaps over 100 metres for the game now. The first Great Britain player to do it. Sonoma on there making a tackle with Tarpanet. 15 metres inside. Great Britain's half. Just one player each not used in the first half by both coaches. Corey Hadawet and Naira. There's a good charge here from Wormsley. Straight out Proctor. They're all class, the one they call Dazza. So Great Britain. It's a kick through from Gareth Widdop. Nicely bouncing ball here for Jermaine Asako. Jermaine with his numbers here today. Nine carries, 52 metres. Jason Manu got the first try, remember? And there's a stink going on in the background. Oh, yeah, Jermaine Asako and it is Connor. And a few other players are now involved. And there you are, you can see it at the top of your screen. Too fast to check. Gives it to Adam Blair. They've just missed three tackles. They've got it sorted and the officials are happy to let play continue. Nikarima, fast hands from Tapani. Nicely picked up by Marshall. Now Ken Mamalo, a bit of a gap there for Ken Mamalo with some fancy footwork there for Ken. Oh, what a great run. Left foot step, one, two, three, then bounced off the right and a quick play of the ball. Stay open side to Johnson. Uh, Mao cuts back towards the centre. Ian Bateman having a good tussle. Kiwis need a good kick on the last play here. Marshall runs a beautiful hands. Nickel Klockstad, and it's Mamalo. I'm not sure. Fantastic if it is. Okay, that, that's a try, boys. Last tackle. Have All a try. Call from Richie. Just confirming the touch line, mate. Touching goal. Video to director. He so deserves this, Ken Mamalo. Because he here, started mate, down with the that line. left foot Ken step. Marmalo, looking at the sideline. Now the finish. Potential grounding, please. So used to David Fussy Tua doing this in the right corner. Ken's learned a few new tricks. Right, Let's have slow. a look at this. All right, he's jumped from the field of play. And. Okay, keep going. Frank, oh, now, yeah, baby. Yeah, that looks good. That Ken is Mamalo beautiful. In Poetry in motion. Jerry, you got it, Richie. We're sending that to the screen. They've been more creative, aren't they? You know what? You know what? A lot more creative. They're making yards a lot easier. And they're tying the, the British down, the Great Britain side down, slowing the play of the ball down. The ruck speed's not on song for the Great British side. Lions. Kim Amalo, fantastic end to a set piece there. His fifth try for the Kiwis in nine games. They shifted to the left, and the ball found the ground in the last play. And here, chance Nicole Klockstad. That's a really good grab as he reaches out behind him with the right hand. And then a nice little touch, and Kent. Ooh. Normally he'd prop off the right and try and go straight through those defenders. Now he glides in the air and reaches the left mid out. Become a real finisher. That is finishing of the highest order right there from Ken Malmalo. His fifth try, ninth test. Oh, he's capped off a fabulous 2019 Ken Malmalo with, with a try in his last game. It's important to be first to score after the break. Test matches, and now let's see if Jermaine Asako the icing to the cake it is the try of Ken Mamalo so with his sort of shape he would want to be way out right bringing this back and that's nowhere near right
Score remains 20 points to two. Three tries to none. Kiwi's in control of this test match here in Christchurch. No wonder he's smiling. I love what you said too, Daryl, about Nickel Klockstad here. That is some skill there from a guy playing basically out of position. Create the opportunity for his teammate. Really good skill. All around there. Drop the ball there. Yep. Only about a cold drop there. Yep. Yep. Sweat on the ball. Straight after half time. For Leeson Almal. A few errors in this game. Well, Richie is. Hastings feeds the scrum. This is really it for Great Britain in this in this game, really. They've got 20 metres out here, a full set. They've got to make something of this. And it looks like they'll go to Bateman or Lomax. Those are the two players that will orchestrate. Simple play on the cutback, easily read by the Kiwis defence. Release Kevin, go one. There's Hodgson from dummy half, Proctor back there to make another tackle, and it's a good one too, he sealed it off there. Hodgson was looking for the offload, but he couldn't get it away. So only five offloads for Great Britain in 50 minutes and no line breaks. Leeson out of there now! Hold! Go, three! Here comes Hornsley. Very close to the line, Alex Wormsley. You know the Britain team in this tour have only scored two tries in over 200 minutes of football. Thompson, good footwork from the front rower. Last tackle, Joey! Get up! Last play now for the Lions, and they can't barge over. The Kiwis' defence is up to the task. I'm still alive! Hodgson's going to go and score! There was no call of held. Yep. And Hodgson scores the try. Well, I even got caught on the hop. Yes, mate. No call of hell. It had to come. The mistake by Al Mal just lets this Great Britain side back into the contest. Josh Hodgson breathes a sigh of relief. Let's have a look at this. Marshall up with good contact. Blair falls to the ground. And as they go, he's about to put the whistle to his mouth, but he doesn't. Oh, a lucky bit of a break there, Richie. What do you reckon? Yeah, a bit of a break. It looked like he was just about to blow it. It looked like he had plenty of time to call out. But yeah, no probably in between it's calling it going. and players to submitting to it, this man on. here takes the opportunity. What a great little offload from jo Jones. And they desperately needed this try yep. because really they've lacked any creativity and any threat whatsoever. Would have converts the try. We are back to 20 points to eight. Oxford's try in the 50th minute is fourth in international football. Well, they deserve something, don't they, Great Britain? I'm sure their completions are below 80%. They've had the run metres or the kicking game. So the margin cut from 18 down to 12 points. Wormsley. Lisa, to Great Britain get them right back into the contest. A little error, though, from Wormsley. Some of these guys have had a lot of football. I'm starting to feel a little bit fatigued. Boys. Simple errors. Yeah. Well, we had a Naira playing. He'll get a boarding pass shortly. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. 
way now. Of course, he was originally named to start, but the late change had proper starting. He was the Bulldogs player. Out. And Joseph Tarpin I mean, watch the work of Cody Nicolino as he comes in and gets his leg twisted there and at least an arm out falls onto the back of his ankle Burgess and Graham about to come on it looks like also Christopher Hill will be coming on too Burgess, Graham and Hill takes a bit of weight off the bench Richie it's give you a little bit of a lift there if you're sitting on it. They are monsters. Nicarina is okay. Joseph Tarpin there leading the way in defence. 23 for the Kiwis. Prop to 21. Tackles made though, 50 less. Oh boy, here comes Marshall. This looks promising as Mel Malo heads for the try line. Can Mel Malo brute force this time? The tactic from him. Marshall. And it comes into the backs again. Gee, the lines are up really fast that time on Harawera Naira. Good line speed. Yeah, Kiwis lose 20 metres on that one is Johnson with Blair. Gives it back to Corey Harawera Naira. That has been knocked on by Cody Nikarima. And that's given the Great Britain Lions a bit of a lift. Sometimes when you have one offload or neat pass, this is Marmalo coming back on the unders line. Marshall taking them all across, finding some space. The right arm fend on John Bateman. Just too much of the cavalry there to keep Ken up and here okay, after this Roger. pass the out, Adam. from Adam Blair Corey Hadawera Nora finds some space through the middle out. and that's the one that shouldn't have been lazy back Stand Jermaine McGilray with his hands Stand on the ball Milking. Corey, one. Corey. Come on. one more let's go one more it's Hughes Kevin up towards his own 30 Wormsley, nice pick up from him. Tall lad, he had to stoop a little for that one. Bateman. The tackle from Blair. What a pit dummy, half James Graham back out there. Chris Hill back out there. Tom Burgess back out there now for Great Britain. Last now for. As Hastings hoists it high again. Chris, and Suckle taking that one nicely this time. Yeah, catches that in midfield. Which is too fast to Sheik Happy to let Jermaine Go have that ball. Go I'll make a game of this great Britain as well as the next oh, point score. Oh, yeah, 100%. Now, Mamalo might have got two. a head clash there. Tackle two. Okay. The player is Ken. Tackle to Ken Mamalo. Doesn't often come off second best, does he? Ken Mamalo. Let's have a look as he charges in to the D-line. John Bateman up top. Oh. Yeah, yeah, just, gives him a, one. just gives him a clean smack with the right forearm. Have a look at that. Right on the mush as well. John. Not going on the court, you think? Just, just, just the one captain. Sorry. Just John. It's John. He's on report. Why? 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 But you, you, if you didn't say that, our player called for help, James. Our player's called for help. It's on report and high, mate. <laughs> so I'm laughing at the reaction of James Graham. I would say the video evidence was compelling, Your Honour. Case closed. Straight for sentencing. Penalty count five to four in New Zealand's favour. Look at him. There's a Kiwi spread it wide off the penalty. 
in the corner, nice and hard and straight. Oh, can't have now, Josh. The tiniest of gaps through the defensive line is the Karima. Continues a dummy half, how to win a night up. The charge. Move now, John. Oh, okay. Hold. Go to. Come on, James. Blair. It's away from Lomax. Come on, Adam. Go three. Nikarima, nice. Create space instantly for Proctor. Love how the hookers do that. Just that little shimmy. Work out of there, Josh! Get it! Get it! Hold! Go for it. half again. Johnson. Wide pass out to Marshall. It's for two bars to check on the inside. Wasn't quite the timing on that occasion. Hold! Chris! You're early. Marshall, you're good. Marshall kicks on the last. Michael Cox adds the target, and the shortest player out there, Jermaine McGillray, gets it. Kim Amalo going around the back to contest that one there. The kick from Benji Marshall. Some good straight running in that set of six, but a lot of width passing as well. You'd have to say Great Britain have got control of the ruck here in this game at this stage. Stand now! Hold here, Britain! Half time score 16 to 2, so fairly even second half as Tom Burgess. Was Nakora going backwards in a big hurry? What a good read there from Marshall on defence. Yeah, great read by Marshall. Needed to be closed down. Did it well. Come on, second best. Nakora, 45 tackles last week. Marshall, in fact, it's Hastings who goes for distance. It's two guys to check. Happy to hand it off to Malmalo. He says, Where's John Bateman? He wasn't too far away. Tough man, John Bateman. Go one. He's always up for the task. For the challenge, is Sako. Have a look at the speed that Great Britain are coming off their line. Jackson, no more! Jake, get up, Jake! <laughs> Tackle two, back it up. Come on, come on! Damage on the inside of the Go mouth two. there to Britain, Rukora. Manu. It's been quiet in the second half, Joseph Manu. Fine first half. Release now! Kingies have been fairly quiet, haven't they? Haven't really pushed it too much. Other than that beautiful try we scored. And uh, Marmalo finished off. Nikarima. Marshall. Got a few dummy runners here. And a two pass a shake on Johnson's pass. Two pass a shake. Last play. Nikarima on the front foot here. Is he going to nudge a little kick through? He has, but Bateman's read that one beautifully. And there's the strength of Bateman on display as well. Just trying to feed a little kick in behind the line. Cody Nikarima. No, no, Brandon Smith in the first half. This is Austin. Give credit to the Great Britain D here. They're working their way well back into this. Burgess. Right on the 30. Really haven't had field position, that's one thing. They certainly played the second half in their own half. In these first 18 minutes. Oh, great. Oh, this hurts. There was good shape out here to the right. And they just wanted to attack. Wanted to see one of the centres in a bit of space, Jack Hughes or Jake Connor. And this was the play. It worked it so well. Burgess with the big bumper bar on Britain Nakora. Got it right on the nose. And then Benji Marshall is fended off. John Bateman. And as they set up the plate, have a look at the players on the right of James Graham. Two more blocks in Hill and Wormsley. Yeah, it doesn't look good on the replay for James Graham, Richie. No, certainly not. And you're right about the intensity. It certainly dropped off, and I think couple of players who could lift that tempo a little bit would be Hargroves and Tarpany. So, how have you viewed the centres in this Great Britain side on this tour, Richie? I mean, when you go back to the greats, like someone like Gary Connolly and that sort, sort of player, they had some real spark. I certainly have, DJ. I think they've lost the specialist centres. I know they've lost quite a few on this tour, but they have lost that, that, that uh, specialist centre. Uh, desperate in need of it. 
Such a vital position nowadays, isn't it? Michael Clutch then. Just keep room. 20 minutes to play. Kiwi's up by 12. Steve Arsha Shicks. Runs it out to Kevin Trotter. Now they are. Who's be keen to make the Great Britain team for their mistake? Johnson. Marshall. Taking the tackle. Jared Wairia Hargreaves is back out there now to complete the game. Very good stint for him in the first stanza. 10 carries, 15 tackles, 88 metres. Plays the ball now. Nikarima. Here's Tapani back out there with him. Marshall. There's the nudge through from Johnson. Didn't get that connection he was looking for there at all. So the last two kicks, one from Nikarima and that one from Johnson. Well below par. We're adding no pressure at all. Send on one of the Kiwi players from Connor. Here comes Chris Hill. We've got a Nida in there making the tackle, but that's good post metres made. It's contact metres made by Chris Hill. Clark out there now for Great Britain. 16, and he was the try scorer, of course, last week for Great Britain against the Kiwis. Hughes, it was at dummy half. There goes Hastings' kick, and that one straight down the throat here. Oh, Jermaine Asako, but the bounce is horrible, and it's fallen into Britain's hands here. Now, Hughes, still the last play, and where did they find it? Not a great finish. This is good work from Benji Marshall covering up again. He might have injured himself. See him on his haunches here. Jackson Hastings was late He's into position to kick this football. Hodgson wasn't on the football field. Hang on, hang on. And he gives a torpedo kick across to the wing of Jermaine Asako. And look at the bounces. Okay, Talked yeah, earlier about how hard this ground is, which makes yep. the unpredictable Four, two, bounce Four, two, come into play. Benji Marshall here. Work out of there, Bang. Chris. Marcus Throws his body Hold onto Hold. the line. It was needed. Quick defence on Manu. Burgess. Now Clark. Outside back set here. Scoop from dummy half. Jumped on the front foot. Put a kick into the corners. The last two kicks had not found their mark. Really important. Karima off to Ivasa Sheik's run. There goes Wairia Hargreaves. Look out there for one last 20 minute burst for 2019. All these players remember being enjoying a bit of a break. Heading into an off-season in a few weeks' time for most of these players. Of course, Great Britain's still got one more game to play up in Papua New Guinea next week. This is Lomax. Good run. A great run from Johnny Lomax. Very good. Really good chase from Joey Manu. Now, can that get... The Lions on the front foot. Hastings. Leeson, Cody up. Hold. Go to Leeson, Widdop to Burgess. A lot of space in behind the ruck there for Great Britain. Last play the ball too. Hastings, good front foot running ball. Widdop, he can take the gap here. Gareth Widdop. Well, a try now. Remember what the Kiwis faded in those last 10 minutes in last week's game. Now let's just keep that at the back of our minds as we come down the stretch of this one. Well, it's now or never really for Britain. And it's James Graham who's going to set it up. Plenty of time. 16 minutes to play. Hill. Play the ball, that won't do too much damage as Widdop. Gives it to Bateman. He's deadly in these situations, John Bateman. There he knows the pass. And it's Hastings. Lovely offload to Elliot Whitehead. Well, he's crossfield running there. Big time. Widdop settles it down. Still three tackles left in the set. Where Anara was happy to give away the penalty, it seemed there, as Graham. Hastings looking for a teammate. Similar outcome coming. As we just saw, Lomax with his great elusive skills. Can he create something? 
chance. Get up. You can Johnny. Help. Lomax. Graham. Here's the pass to Hill. Now the last play. What can Great Britain fashion up? Last tackle, Jerry. Must be effective, must be a repeat set. At worst, Whittap is the man with the kick. It's Bateman chasing. Oh, did he get a hand on that? I think he might have. But yeah. did he have control? Okay. OK, that will be last tackle. Yes, mate. We have a try. Yep. Confirming that John Bateman grounds the ball. OK. Video of the director. He's a good poker player, John I'm Bateman. To check the he is. first because it's from a kick, and then we'll probably need camera six for the grounding. So probably start with Get three. Get the plan to your football on the Kiwi line. Okay, and let's have a look. it on the boot for me, mate. Once he kicks it. Yep. Okay. Well, yep. John Bateman is onside, so we'll follow it through there, mate. Now give me a um, give me camera six, please. No, and it doesn't look like he grounds it on that angle. Go slow here, slow. Have you got any other angle from there, please, mate? It looks like it touches Tuivasa Sheik's hand and then grazes Bateman's right hand. So we'll go nice and slow here, please, mate. I've got to think that. OK, we're gonna, I'm going to go back to the next, the missed, previous yeah. angle that you just showed me. He's grounded it. Okay, now that's all Roger Toy Vasashek. Can you give me that angle again, please? That exact same angle. Go nice and slow here. He's just likely yep. to grab something. Okay. This, isn't okay. He, so. Toy that's all Roger Toy Vasashek. John Bateman has not touched the ball. Jerry, we're going to send it back to you. It's no try. It's going to be a goal line dropout. Well done by Henry Terranara, the video referee for this match. He's got that one absolutely spot on. Yeah. It's, it's taken dead by Roger. Last... It's goal play line Play kicking out. options of this Great Britain side are coming into play. Good kick from Gareth Whittam. Brandon Smith is back out there, Richie, right? Certainly is. I thought there was a really good opportunity beforehand with Jonathan, Jonathan Lomax coming across the field. Jack Hughes comes inside instead of hitting the hole on the outside. So Lomax has had a fantastic game. He's created most of the play. Way to restart with this line dropout. First time that Britain's had big the game. We'll receive anyway. Just one each to both teams in this clash is Burgess. Good contact. Hargraves up top. A dummy half, no Josh Hodgson at the moment. Smith gets out after Graham. Brennan heads away. Brennan Smith won a nice authoritative finish to this game. They're running it early in the count here as Lomax comes in. Good pass out to McGillray, but the Kiwis drift defence has looked pretty solid there. Away goes Clark on the short side. Nice little snipe into the 10. Was he to change player? Would it? Hastings, fast hands required. Austin. Oh boy. It's lucky it's 10 infield, not five infield there. Last play, Messi play the ball. As Hastings keeps it on that side of the field. Whitehead kicks it through and it's bounced kindly there for Wairia Hargreaves. Good deep. Good width attack from the Great Britain side. They started it on the right and then worked it right over to the left before having a double pump on the left. Oh, it's been a loose carry there from Joseph Tuff and here the error has come. We mentioned a thing called momentum in the game of rugby league. Guess who it's with now. Let's not forget here. Uh, Britain can score in the next couple of minutes. There'll only be one try back. Now let's have a look at Tuffany here. One, two, three, four in the act. Chris Hill puts his arm in there and rips it out. That's great defence from those three Warriors. Graham, Hill, Burgess. Heads down. So, Head down. Great Britain hot on attack here. About 80% of possession. In the last few minutes, 
but significantly the Kiwis have held firm. They haven't conceded any points. As Burgess tries to barge over. Comes with it. This is Wormsley who's back out there now. Alex Wormsley almost to the line. Graham and Burgess have been subbed out. Thompson's come back on. Now, what's happened here? It's a penalty. Alex, walk away. It's just players lying everywhere. Wormsley couldn't get them off him in time. Clark. Yep. Go. Thompson. Good side hit on him. From Brandon Smith. Go one. Clark. And Hastings to Lomax. Good defence again from the Kiwis. Go two. Hastings and it's Jones this time. Help! Release Corey! Help! So play the ball. Wormsley again goes hard for the line, but the Kiwis have wrapped him up. Benji, let go! Hold! The Kiwis can hold here. This could be the winning... Should be the winning of the game. It's Thompson again. He's looking for a teammate. No support for him. Last play. It's Whittup nudging it through. It's a cracking kick. But it's taken by a sucker, and he's in the field of play. Basically scored a try at the wrong end of the field. Good play. It's Jermaine. There was pressure there as well. Marvellous piece of work. The defence has actually evened up in this game. Great Britain was 70 tackles behind shortly after half time. The Kiwis can't afford a mistake here as they bring it out. These tackles made in the game only differential now 20 in the second half. Now Malo. It's a good run. We're on last now. Marshall going for maximum distance. As Lomax should start this set from inside his own 40. Austin. Wasn't the easiest pass to catch that one. 135 metres for Blake Austin. And now another penalty. needs to get it down the field as he possibly can as Great Britain continue to hammer away here Whitehead this is Luke Thompson Wormsley the referee's allowing that one to continue, and here goes Luke Thompson. Oh, good connection there. What a tackle from Tarpany. You don't want to run at Tarpany, do you? He's going to bang you. And hits you hard. Here comes Wormsley this time. Fast play the ball. Clark goes from dummy half. Would it look like he might have been the victim of an early tackle there? Yeah, I'm with you. Michael Klockstad getting away with one there for the Kiwis. Bateman, this is Bateman. Still short of the line. <laughs> Last play. It's Gareth Whittup again as he nudges it across to Manu. Who's got this one? Well, it's been forced. Elliot Whitehead's got it. But there's a big bat on this one. Confirming that there's a touch from Great Britain that constitutes a knock on there prior to grounding. So easy. Good to the director. So now they play the odds. Put the cross I kick in. I'm gonna need a uh, I'm gonna need the onside first, so we need to clear the onside, so we'll look at camera one for that. And then we're gonna need a close up for the uh, contest, perfect. please, mate. Would it check if they're onside? First thoughts were the Great Britain's uh, widest one. Freeze it on the boot. Yep. To the football. Uh, Great Britain's left side kick chaser on side. So we'll follow through here, please, mate. And this is to the spot that Joey Manu would climb high in. Okay. Going to need something tight and there, please, mate. Can't see anything like from here. 
nice hands tie. of together Joey Manu. Oh, Great Britain's hands in front of the ball. Jake Connor, is it? And the ball has gone forward off Great Britain. Jerry? Yeah, mate. We've got a decision. It's going to be a knock on, yep. a changeover, yep. 10 metres out. It's about where I am, mate. Yeah, pretty probably a couple of metres to the left of the post, mate. This game. No it's try, we're superb. setting up to the board. Yep, Many no tough worries. decisions, and they've got every one right. Yeah, 100% agree with you. It's a, it's a knock on in the field of play, it's a handover. It's a handover. I'll tell you what's uh, been also good over these last couple of weeks, now is the good, clear communication, the real thorough communication wait, wait, from the wait. video referee. You get a bit more out of the <laughs> video ref than you do out of the bunker in the NRL. Wait, which I think is beneficial Don't for the viewer. Early. What more beneficial a lot of time was taken than that decision there was to give the Kiwis a rest. They've been under the pump. Stand now, Josh and Alex! Yeah, they're digging deep, Hold. Richie. They are digging deep. Yeah, yeah, Great Britain has been great under pressure. Luke, they've really weathered away. the storm. And they've come oh, back strong in the second half. Kiwis just a little bit off the second half. Fresh legs. Tetevano back on there. Three. This is Hargraves. Joseph Tuffin has been big in this game. 35 tackles, 81 metres, 10 carries. And an offload as well as Muscle explodes onto that one. Fast play the ball, Smith. Brandon goes for a gallop, but a good tackle there from Thompson. Stopped them stone cold, and this is Tetevano. Last tackle, Marcus! Been down here for a while. Johnson. This one for a suckle. Manu to chase. It's a good kick, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Away goes Austin. And the Kiwis will be penalised for tackling Austin in the air. Just got it wrong. Luke Thompson. He's actually on the way down. But still in the air. Oh, time starting. Good time now to be the enemy. Oh, good good kick, wasn't it? Yeah, not much in it, but. It was an infra infra or a fraction under the rules. Hands away now. Make it hard. Hard to go Jones. You see where Great Britain want to attack. Right in the middle of the field. Late off low. It won't help. See, that's, that's unlucky. A little unlucky, really, you've got to say, for Great Britain there. Clark knocking it on. Joseph Tarpenier picks up. The ball and Brandon Smith. Josh Jones, yeah, there, this gives the opportunity to hold. the Kiwis to manage the game here. Go Soak on. a bit more time up off the clock. Harawe to Naira. One more score would really complete the victory here for the Kiwis. Maria Hargreaves, plenty of energy in those legs still. Good run. Good front bumper. And here comes Smith. Smith, Harawera Naira, Nickel Clockstead. Oh, Nickel Clockstead, no way. Track that on a GPS. No thanks. Wairia Hargreaves, a dummy half. Well, it was supposed to be one, but it ended up not being one. Marshall. Sako in position. He is in position. A suckle. And it is the option. A suckle. And there is the field goal for the Kiwis. And that nudges them two. Scores clear. 13 point advantage. That should do it. Nicely done by Jermaine Asako. The Kiwis lead 21 8. Good work from Jermaine Asako. Didn't really get it all that clean. Little head. See the way it's floating through the post. But he's a compulsive drop kicker at the end of training. We saw it in the nines. He led the point scoring in the nines and cleaned up many a conversion with the drop kicks from touch. A real worker. Now the short kickoff. And that was his first field goal in either the NRL or international football for a suckle. Great Britain do go short. Nicely taken, Elliot Whitehead. Surrender! Stand now, go one. A tight second half, isn't it? Just a point in it. Six to five. Work out He's solid, Johnson. hasn't he? Warmsley off the bench. 13 Hold. carries, close to 100. Hold. Go two. 
Thompson awesome used to the decoy. It's a nice move out, but a good tackle coming John in from Nicol Poxdown on his Canberra teammate, John Milking, Bateman. Milking, John, Milking. Go, three. Seal three. It's, it's Jones running hard and straight. Was a, a good game, Josh Jones. Been impressed with him. Short, Tough man. Four. Salford Red Devils. And now... It's a very slow play, the ball. Go for it. Hastings. There's the kick. And Austin can't gather. What's the ball? What a kick. Watch this. Jackson Hastings gets to the outside of the incoming defender, which will be Joey Manu. And here, he's got three on his outside. Just waiting for it. It's a good run from Kim Malo, and the Kiwis on the front foot here. Tuivasa Shek almost up to the halfway and two hit ups. And look at that speed of the play the ball. Smith. Can he get to his feet quickly and play it? Hold, come on. There's three great carries. And a penalty. Well, that's good play from the Kiwis. Malo, Tuivasa Shek, Brandon Smith. Straight up the guts, Daryl. Looks like they have weathered the storm, the Kiwis. And now they just want to apply the blowtorch possibly one more time. Well, it's been an accomplished performance from the Kiwis. Second half, there's been some mistakes and errors, and they've gifted this Great Britain side some opportunities. Great Britain haven't really been good enough to make the most of it, to be fair. Again, they've only so far scored the one try. They haven't scored two tries for how long? Oh, Josh come on. Oh, that's Wormsley on Tetevano. Hold the fellas. Zane Tetevano, not the biggest front rower, but... Yeah, with that one beautifully, here comes Marshall. Riding like the old days to Ivasa Shek. Oh, well, referee Jared Sutton's called held there. To Ivasa Shek has to go back. Maria Hargreaves handling again. One more try for the Kiwis in these last two minutes. Let's see if they can polish it. Ice the game. Absolutely sure. Tapane. Johnson. Maybe some magic from Sean Johnson. Johnson, lovely pass to Manu. And it's been knocked on by Austin. He reads the game so well, Blake Austin. He nearly had that up the other end of the football field. There's Jake Connor and Joey Manu exchange some words. Nice to see Sean Johnson running again. Pushing, shrugging defenders off in the flick out the back. And Joey Manu wanted to deliver his signature flick as well. Down we go. Heads into the back. Bannon all the way. Right shot. Heads in, Johnny Blake. Out. So, possession. Another opportunity for the Kiwis here is Jermaine Suckle. Smith. He'll be a danger from this range. So will toughen it. Smith. Oh, it's been stolen by Hastings, but he's offside. Another penalty to the Kiwis. So thinking Brandon Smith might not be able to help himself there. So good with the body shape he has at getting down low and getting under people. Therefore, that line doesn't seem quite so far away. It's selfless. Delivers the pass out wide. Sean Johnson hands the ball to Jermaine Asako. Yeah, the key Kiwis are happy. They provide the last act the test season in this Oceania Cup for 2019. That's a very content Kiwi squad right there, Richie Barnett. I've beaten them twice. That is outstanding. Not the best football, but two wins against a side that's come over here desperate and a side that was well prepared too. A few yeah, injuries. What? Tell you what, Richie, there's some very, very happy Kiwi players on the sideline here and all the support staff. They're delighted with this. 
2-0 series win here. Very, very happy. There's a suckle. We'll kick the goal and conclude the game, and it is the Kiwis. After a tight win at Eden Park, comfortable win on the scoreboard as it's turned out here in Christchurch. They win it by 23 points to eight.